Good evening, my friends. Bianca is joining me today. Yes, I have to, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Icebreaker, we have been trying to find this new lip gloss that Bianca has <gasps> been really wanting for a very long time from Sephora. Yes, it is the Rihanna Fenty. Yeah. Blaze Donut. We finally Blaze found it. Blaze Donut. I can't believe we're talking about this right now. <laughs> So welcome back. It's, it's Thank you, nice man. to have you in front of the camera again. Thank you. So last night, yes, D23 happened. The Parks and Experiences panel. A lot of eyes were on this event, wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. And I say that because there's a brand new theme park opening here in Orlando next summer Yay. called Epic Universe. I will say, Disney did bring some punches. They did. I'm excited. Was it enough? I don't think so, but we do have some really cool things coming to Walt Disney World and Disneyland yes. for new cruise ships. I cannot believe it. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't either because they've been announcing so much DCL news over the course of last month, right? On yeah. social media, you're like, they can't really announce anything else. And then no. four new cruise ships, a awesome. total of 13 by 2031. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that Disney believes in their product of Disney Cruise Line because if you guys know, we love Disney Cruise Line. Love it. We think it's the best cruise line. What stuck out to you? There was a lot. I felt like we were, there was a lot of performances too. <laughs> there was. <laughs> Which was, was that new this year? It was new this year. It was new. Okay. Was it needed? I think no. it was just to kind of, you know, dramatize like the whole fill event, f you know, kind of fill in yeah. some time yeah. to make your experience worth your while, worth right. your ticket price. Um, one thing that stuck out to me was the whole Monsters Inc. area. At Hollywood Studios. I was so excited to hear about that. And then when Josh talked about the ride, I was like, what? Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. It's going to be the first. Inverted coaster. Yes. At a I didn't know park. the proper term, but. Yeah. I'm excited. I cannot wait. So cool. Did he mention an opening date or for that? No? Funny you say that. Why? He did not announce any opening dates other than okay. Tiana's Bayou Adventure at Disneyland, which is opening in November. Hopefully, they're going to fix it because ours here at Magic Kingdom, it's not really working. Uh, we found out that Test Track is opening sometime in 2025. Well, that's good news because that's yeah. going to happen next year. And before you know it, it's already 2025. I mean, time I mean, is flying yeah, by. Time is flying. We're already starting school up again. If <sighs> you're a parent, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, time is this week. flying. And I think we're getting a Pirates Bar at Magic Kingdom sometime so next year. I was a year. little confused when we were watching that because mm. it was the two performers singing. I'm like, what's going on? I'm confused. How, however, if you were in the audience, let us know, like how mm. was the actual yeah. experience itself being there? Cause we were watching it from like a live stream. And then a uh, spaceship earth bar or a lounge that looks but pretty cool. But is it placed in front of the spaceship? They didn't really announce That was like details. during the performance. So I was just yeah. really thrown off It by looks that. like they're going to put it in the back of Spaceship Earth where World oh, Celebration starts, okay. like kind of where that Walt Disney I statue thought it is. I inside. The I mean, maybe. I thought it, I was like, is it inside? Probably not. Something else that I'm excited about, we are getting a new nighttime parade at the Magic Kingdom cool. next summer. You really like parades. I do. I'm not really a parade person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care to stand and just watch parades. However, I True. know you like that. I do. I think Magic Kingdom needed a new nighttime show. The last time we had a nighttime parade was Main Street Electrical, mm. which then went to Disneyland. So I'm excited that we're getting a new parade. Anything else stand out to you? What about you? What was your favorite? All right, so let's just get into it. My favorite uh -oh. was obviously Villains Land, which is announced. It's coming to the magic kingdom and i'm very excited for it but i was a little bummed because i was like if disney announces a villain fifth gate where a new park just dedicated to the villains but i knew they weren't going to do that i knew they weren't going to do it either because it's expensive i feel like that's why they didn't announce any opening date or anything yeah. like that but i feel like if they would have announced a villain park mm -hmm. that may compete with epic universe that's a big 
I Maybe. Think, no, I think it would have. It yeah. would have been neck and neck because Disney people love the villains. I mean, yeah. I feel like everyone can somehow relate to a Absolutely. Disney villain character because Good villains point. are misunderstood. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, Again, we don't know when this is opening. They yeah, said... There was, there was no date to that one either? There's no date to anything. They said everything is in active development. Okay, so um, they got the okay, but... Yeah, they got the okay. We haven't seen any <laughs> permits or anything. Um, but I'm glad it's announced. Yes. I'm happy to know it's coming yes. because I know it's going to be really cool. They said two attractions and shopping and That's dining. Cool. So we'll see what happens. Very happy. Um, I think they did miss the mark a little bit because they have the room to build a fifth gate. They just continue to choose not to. I was also really excited about this Cars Land mm -hmm. addition to also the Magic Kingdom. We're assuming it's going in Frontierland, like beyond Big Thunder, even though they confused. didn't call it that. I was confused with that as well because I'm like, wait a minute, that, does that really go together? But are they But Tiana's is right there. So I was just gonna ask, yeah. are they completely like going to like remove Frontierland as a whole and just retheme it? I'm sure they'll figure that out. Which once, I'm glad it's not a closer. clone of Disney California yeah. Adventures. It's going to be different. There's going to be two attractions, but how are they going to fit, you know, a Cars Land? Because I know how massive that area is in yeah. Disney California Adventure. And, and it is so cool. I love that ride. I know. There. And it's always the longest line. You're waiting Radiator so racers. long. It's worth it. <laughs> but, and they're going to build a villain's land. I feel like they're going to close Tom Sawyer's Island and- I think it's time. The riverboat. I, I think it's time. I would agree. And then what about Speedway? I know that's in Tomorrowland, but it's very- They forgot <laughs> about the Speedway. They were saying for years they were going to update it and nothing. We also did not get any new hotel information. I was hoping like Reflections at Fort Wilderness was coming back. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, Tropical Americas. Yes, and Indiana Jones. Yes. I'm so excited. I also love that ride out in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. so. It's not going to be the same apparently. Yes, so it's not a copy paste. It's not a copy paste, <laughs> but I feel like it's still going to pretty much be the same thing because yeah. Dinosaur in Indiana Jones. Same track. Same track, same everything. I just feel like they're going to update the story. I love and it. The I cannot wait for that because I love that ride. Is and that then Encanto. We're getting a so Encanto exciting. dark ride, boat ride it looks like. Yes. That's really cool. That looked really cool. Um, I love that movie and I'm really glad that it's like officially coming. Don't yeah. know when, maybe 2030, who knows, but it's coming. It's coming. And then they're bringing a carousel to this land, That's a restaurant, shopping. I think it's going to be really nice. You gotta really think nice. about the little ones and the kiddos. Yeah. They're gonna love that. Remember, yeah. this all started with the dream. I did, you know, look over to Bianca when all of this was being announced because a Coco Dark Ride is going to Disneyland. Very And cool. I just continued, which is cool. But I just continue to see more and more like boat dark rides. Yeah. Not just here in the domestic parks, but also international. And I think it's easy. It's easy. It's easy Is to it get cheaper? a whole bunch of people on and off. And yeah, I think that's probably okay. what they're trying to do. I don't know. Because it's, it's a family park. Right. So but then I'm they're doing all the families. Monsters Inc. with a well, pretty intense coaster. I mean, I mean it's they got inverted. A, you, you gotta, you gotta yeah. have some family and then some smaller. What family. I'm trying to say though is I feel like they need to do more, you know, new and exciting attractions. Yes, continue to bring the dark rides because yeah. those are fun. That's something that Disney is really good at is making dark rides. But I don't know. I just, I, I need you want more, more like one of a kind experiences where you can only find it at a Disney park because when you look around you see Tokyo and Shanghai and Hong Kong and now even Paris yeah. getting all of these new additions and new technology. They're and getting the Lion King ride? They're getting a Lion King ride That's in Paris? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What the heck? <laughs> I just feel like the domestic parks are limited compared to the international parks and yeah. I just want more but you know, those kind of rides cost a lot of money. I was just going to say that's probably just the money. Also, some more news from Disneyland. We're finally getting a Walt Disney animatronic. Wow, that's 
amazing. Yeah. I can't Long believe overdue. that. When he said that on the TV, I was like, what? <laughs> That's going to be something to see. A and it's spectacle. going to, yeah. And it's going to rotate with great moments with Mr. Lincoln, which that was Mr. Walt's little project, creating that animatronic. I'm and, glad he's still in the parks. And yeah. Being represented. Absolutely. I think it's very important. And this was a great choice by Disney. Also, over at Disney California Adventure, mm -hmm. Pandora? That looked cool. That looks super cool. That concept art was amazing. Yeah, it's based on The Way of Water and the next two Avatar movies, Fire and Ash, and then the next one, which does not have a title yet. Mm -hmm. Looks really wicked. It looks so cool. But, like, I really liked having Pandora exclusive to... Walt Disney World yeah, at Animal great. Kingdom. Speaking of Animal Kingdom, Zootopia. So I've never seen the movie. You haven't? No. We well, gotta get on that, babe. <laughs> we got Disney Plus downstairs. What? <laughs> it's replacing It's Tough to Be a Bug inside of the Tree of Life. It's Which, coming next winter. Long overdue. Long overdue. I think that experience has traumatized enough children in its day, so Me I included. think it's time to uh yeah close the doors update. and update it yeah absolutely also <laughs> at disney's hollywood studios we're getting like a grogu Yay! and mandalorian overlay so and exciting. smugglers run <laughs> there he is the man the myth the legend i'm uh really looking forward to that because nobody really rides smugglers run anymore like it's yeah. always has a short wait time you can always get a lightning lane for it so i feel like not only that, but this guy, this little guy. Exactly. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to That ride is going to be like two or three hours now. So It really is. Good job, Disney. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all of everything that I feel like we need to discuss. Yeah. You have any final thoughts? I'm just really excited that Disney is bringing on the villains and the Monsters, Inc. Yeah, that's huge. The new Indiana Jones. Obviously, I'm saying all this because I live in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And I was most excited to hear what's coming to Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Even if it takes a few years, it is what it is. But I'm excited. Hopefully that not too long. <laughs> I'm excited that we're... It's just changing, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, Change is Orlando good. is literally the capital city of theme parks and i'm so happy that we live here we're gonna have so much fun in the coming years yeah i agree good one i think i'm really excited for magic kingdom i think magic kingdom needed something like this they needed the expansion i hope it doesn't take too long i think walt disney world specifically needs something right now and I feel like a lot's going to change next year when Epic Universe opens, the newest destination here in Orlando. It's going to bring some really incredible new attractions and new ride technology, and yeah. I'm excited about it. Me too. Um, I don't think this was enough to compete with Epic Universe. I do appreciate that we're getting more, like I said, to Walt Disney World. Epic Universe is its own game. Like, honestly, I don't think anyone could really top that. I really was, I think we were all hoping for a fifth game. Especially, <laughs> like, Bianca. She didn't really believe in what Epic Universe no. is going to be. I remember one night just thinking, I don't think it's going to be as good as you're saying. Mm -hmm. But then I saw what... I took with my I, own eyes. I took her with me to some construction updates. Wow, I was blown away. Yeah. I mean, I knocked me off my chair. I was like, whoa, yeah. that's coming here. Like, mm -hmm. I could not wait. And then just seeing all of the little updates that we see, more mm -hmm. um, like fireworks, mm -hmm. the drones. I know, I know. It's crazy. The heli I cannot get over that. If I'm telling you guys, once you see this building, it is massive. Like, I couldn't Which believe one, though? The Helios the Grand, Grand Helios yeah. Hotel. Uh -huh. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I just want Disney to bring new things to their parks. That way we can all... You want them to step up their A-game because I you know Epic Universe is going to come. And I know what Disney is capable of. Yeah, we were all hoping for that. I know what the Imagineers could do. I know what they still can do. Or want to do, but can't. Or that. <laughs> which, that's a very good point because if you don't got the money, if you don't have the yeah. leadership... You're not going anywhere. Yeah. And I feel like Disney will eventually get out of this hump. And yeah. I know some of you may disagree with that, but I think once this park opens down the road, Disney's going to have to do something else. Yeah, but I guess only time will tell. Only time will tell. Yeah. 
That's all that I have. Let us know what you thought of D23 down below in the comments. Yes. Grogu will be down there in the comments. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Are you underwhelmed? Were you there? Are you Let us know. <laughs> Are that? Let us know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Bay, for being here. Of course. Hopefully, we'll see more Bianca in the future. Maybe. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. We love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. We're out. <laughs>